<laughs> Ladies, wine country brings a lot more than you think. Hey, look at this thing. I don't even feel comfortable touching it. <laughs> Let's talk about why Zinfandel is one of the most challenging varietals on this planet to grow. Here in the Russian River Valley, like Pinot Noir, Zinfandel has very, very thin skins, right? So these tight clusters, just like Pinot, Zinfandel has super tight clusters, thin skins, and this is a hardy, more hardy varietal than Pinot Noir, which means it takes more time on the vine to ripen. Um, Zinfandel um, is, is such a challenging varietal to nail. Um, one of the, the big deals about Zinfandel is the uneven ripening. Most varietals will ripen at the same time. I can see this bunch right here is ready to go. Look at all the, the, the raisins. Uneven ripening, not just from cluster to cluster, but actual on the clusters themselves, you've got such an uneven ripening that it's very challenging to decipher how much sugar is really in this cluster because you've got these plump berries that are very tart, low sugar, and then you've got these nice, what I call golf balls. Look at that little, they're dimpling, they're starting to suck in. That right there is, is the fruit. And then you've got these hard raisins like this guy in there. See, some of these are raisining. So what do you do with these? These don't really start, look at that. This doesn't start to show sugar until five or six days into fermentation. And that's why Zinfandel right there, folks, is made in that often um, pruny, raisiny, kind of sludge hammer style. It's because people's inability to either um, judge how much sugar is really out here or do things like multi-harvest. Because Zinfandel ripens so unevenly, me and my guys will go out there and I pay them by the hour. I don't pay them by the piecemeal. I think I'm probably one of the first only ones to, to do that. Some of them, some of other people do it. The point is, is by paying by the hour, I have them look at every single cluster and we determine if this cluster goes now or if it goes two weeks from now. We're going through, estamos piscando la pura madura. We're picking only the ripe clusters. Um, most, 99% of the vineyards are gonna go through and pick all of the grapes at one time. Um, with Zinfandel, that's really challenging to do and try and, and try and have good positive results. With Zinfandel, you've got such uneven ripening. You've got a bunch right here that's ready to go. This bunch is ready to be, be harvested. And right next to it, you're gonna find a bunch like this guy here. This guy's not ready yet. See how there's a lot of plump berries still there. Hey. This guy here, not ready yet. So they're gonna go through and just pick only the ripe clusters. And that's what we're doing today. It's called shaving the fruit. I don't know anybody else who's willing to do the extra work that we're, we're doing to, in Zinfandel particularly. Um, but the flavors and the results are uh, stunning and, and even spectacular. Yeah.